Mark 9 says, All things are possible to those who believe. Philippians 4 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Hebrews 13 says, The Lord will never leave us nor forsake us. Matthew Matthew 7 says, Ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find. Matthew 6 says, If we forgive those that have sinned against us, we will be forgiven. But if we do not forgive them, neither will we be forgiven. Listen, listen closely to Romans, to Romans 12. And always remember, no need to thank me. I am here to help you and I both as much as I can. Chapter 12 And so, dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to God. Let them be a living and holy sacrifice, the kind he will accept. When you think of what he has done for you, is this too much to ask? Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will know what God wants you to do, and you will know how good and pleasing and perfect His will really is. As God's messenger, I give each of you this warning. Be honest in your estimate of yourselves, measuring your value by how much faith God has given you. Just as our bodies have many parts and each part has a special function, so it is with Christ's body. We are all parts of His one...